Good morning. Today is day 34 since breaking my 108 day fast. And uh, Andrew and I, <sighs> Andrew and I are actually getting ready to go to our next Airbnb. We're staying in a different place, closer to where we live tonight. And I'm just about to do my workout. Andrew's not feeling super well today. His stomach is kind of bothering him. So he's just kind of taking it, taking a break today. He's in the bath and he's just relaxing. So anyway, I'm gonna do my Shauna Virtue workout. And instead of doing the warm up that's in the book, I'm actually gonna do one of her warm ups that she posted on YouTube. Just cause we don't have that much time, we have to leave soon. And I am also gonna follow along with the workout that she posted online for this next workout, the VM2. So I'm really, really excited about it. I did our meditations this morning. We don't quite do the ones that she has in the book yet. However, we do have a meditation practice, so we're sort of following her protocol. So anyway, I'm about to do that, and I haven't had anything to eat or drink yet. I will probably have the coconut when it gets a little later and we can open them up. And yeah, that's so far the plan. Since Andrew's not feeling well, I'm probably gonna end up driving, which is great, because I need the practice. So, I need the practice. So, I'm gonna get my day started, and hope you do the same. See you later. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, right? Tuesday, mm -hmm. March 6th, the day before my birthday. And, um, sorry, my eyes got really itchy. Anyway, today's Tuesday, March 6th. It's the 34th day since breaking my 108 day fast. And we are getting ready to leave this place. We are currently close to Burlington, Vermont. And now we're gonna head down more south to Brattleboro, Vermont. Well, that area. And yeah, we're packing up everything. It's really funny, because like honestly, it doesn't look like we have that much stuff when we put it in the apartment but we actually have like a lot of treks to the car. So it's kind of funny. Andrew was commenting on it this morning. Here's Andrew. -y. Hi. He's not feeling the best today. I, I had some kind of something get into my system and um, been having a stomach, stomach something. Had um, a lot of runs and um, just went to bed and woke up feeling kind of lousy, but I'm feeling better now. I think I did a kind of a, you know the Kalima board and I flushed things out, and I think I'm mostly feeling much better. But you're not gonna drive. Still I'm feeling pretty driving. tired, so Melissa's still gonna drive. And um, yeah, um, it's been very nice to be able to stay here and, and have access to a functional apartment and house. So. It's nice to have a bathroom with running water. That's like yeah. one thing that's kind of nice. In our tiny house, we love our tiny house, but just the fact that we don't have actual running water can be a challenge Makes sometimes. It pretty hard. So, like anyway. Every, every time you make a dish, you go to a separate house outside of the tiny house. Go yeah. wash it and then walk all the way back. It's so, not a far walk, obviously, it's not. but it's just like inconvenient. But it's, yeah. Is all. Just, but then there's other people in the world who don't even have water, so luckily we have access to people need to go walk to just to get water. Yeah. And come back and wash dishes with that water, and then it runs out again. Yeah. So, so we're pretty lucky. Yes, we are. We're very lucky, actually. Huh? Anyway, I wanted to let you know that I just did the Shauna Virtue Method VM2. Virtue Method 2, I think it's used for. Hmm. Anyway, I also realized that I did all the exercises yesterday wrong. But not necessarily wrong. It's just I didn't realize it was a whole like rotation. And so mm -hmm. I did it with her today and I was like, oh, that makes way more sense. <laughs> so I get to do number one again in two days from now, March 8th, I think. So I'll do that right this time. But it was good to learn and do this with her. That's why I was really excited that she, I saw that she had put it on uh, YouTube and I was really excited. So I did that. My butt is hurting and my hamstrings are a little bit sore so I think that I need to work on using my glute muscles more but they're really 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 weak right now they're not strong yet so but anyway I am about to drink some coconut water I opened one up for myself with the Coco Jack so I have it right here we have two more left 
So we'll see how it goes. I'm sure I'll finish them. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna drink my coconut water. It's so good every time. Every time. The only time that it wasn't very good was when they were a little old. Yeah. And it was like, mmm. But yeah. this one is really good. We've been doing really well since then picking out good coconuts. So we really we consciously choose each one as we every time we go to the store. Kind of look at it and feel it a little bit. Try to sense if it's a good one or not. But fresh coconut water, oh, some of the best stuff. Young coconut water that you yeah. that you can drink. Oh my gosh. It's better than water, it's better than any other juice, it's just the best stuff. You can't beat it. Okay, so we are really close to this awesome trail called the Island Line Trail. And it looks... I think I missed it. The turn? You may have missed it, but this is a beautiful area. Let's go straight down and see. Yeah. Right by the water. So beautiful. Right to stay on Mark Road, then make a U turn. Wow. Look at that view. Wow. Look at that. That is amazing. Wow. That's, That's amazing. crazy. Wow, that is so cool. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. We're gonna make a U turn. Yep. Oh look, there's a parking lot right there. Nice. And a kiosk. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, and then you just, and then you just start. Oh, this is so cool. Should I park closer? Yeah. It's a little muddy. This is so cool. I love this. Look at that. This is the head start of the Island Line Trail. We'll come back to bike this. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. We made it. We made it? We made it. Let's see, you know how, like, we were looking for it yesterday and we didn't make it, and now yeah. we made it, so I'm excited. Yeah. It's a little dark, yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. We're gonna go get out and check walk. it out. So All right. Hopefully, you can get somewhere where it opens up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. All right. Cheers. Wow, that's amazing. This is so beautiful. Hey, okay, here we are. Yeah, we're here. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at this. It doesn't like the camera doesn't even do it justice. Like how no, beautiful it is. So beautiful. It's oh ridiculously gosh. beautiful. Yeah. And the water's so clear. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's amazing here. This is amazing. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're gonna continue on and we're gonna rip out the camera again when it's awesome again. All right, the Island Line Trail in Vermont. Can you see this? Wow, look at that. Look at that. Whew. It goes 14 miles all like this. Look at a nice little narrow path with water on both sides. And there's Melissa. She's getting far ahead of me, I gotta catch up. That's far <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> it's really sunny, beautiful, cold, and a little bit windy, but it's beautiful. Yeah, we try to be that, those people who take some nice pictures without their coats on and stuff. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it too much. My hands got really cold. I got really cold. I didn't want to do that anymore. <laughs> so we're keeping our coats on and our hats on. We may look sillier, I guess, but <laughs> at least we're warm. We're comfortable. Cheers. Back. 
Yeah, we're back it's in our car. Star. We'll walk. About an hour, I think we walked. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we were walking very Actually, slowly. Over an hour, but yeah. Yeah. At least an hour. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait to come back when it's warm and we'll have our bikes, so. But I just wanted to uh, let you know, Andrew started his grape juice, and I also heated up some sweet potatoes in the oven last night. Um, and I have a little bit of guacamole, so I think we're gonna have a little bit of that before we go. You can't really see it, so th yeah, Andrew. Nice. So there's some sweet potatoes there, and I have some guacamole. So I'm just gonna eat a little bit of that before we hit the road, just so that I feel like more alert and awake. And I also have some coconut water in here. Because on our way here, I was feeling a little tired, and since I'm doing the driving, I just wanna make sure that I stay awake and alert, and I'm feeling a little bit hungry. And the last time I ate was about two hours ago when I had those bananas. I had three bananas. So I just wanna make sure that everything's okay. So just that I'd mention that. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks Where for watching. Where is your next destination? All right, take care. All right, bye. Okay, so we just got here. We just got here to our next location. We're just here for the night, which is really funny because you would think we'd be here for forever since we have so much stuff and this is not everything. <laughs> we just, it's difficult traveling while Andrew's fasting and yeah, we're just doing you a know, lot there's of a lot of things going on. But anyway, we got here, it's really cute. This is the little living room area. Like there's a little stool, like a bar stool here. Yeah. Look at this, like it's like a bar stool. There's little stools down there. It's like a pretty nice view because of the outside. And um, anyway, this is a little sofa. It's like a little cute with the frame. Huge closet to put some stuff, some clothes. There we have in the corner. And then we have this cute little kitchen where I'm working to prepare my supper for tonight. And then the little bedroom. So that's that. And then there's a bathroom. And what's really, really exciting is that it has a tub. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this tub. I cannot wait to take a bath tonight. But anyway, I just thought we'd give you a little tour of our the place that we're staying at. And anyway, so Andrew's doing, I think Andrew's take on his third grape juice for the day. Yeah. Oh, you know what's also really, really funny? The person, I guess, like, who's part of the, I think it's a couple who live upstairs. They rent out this to, like, an Airbnb. He actually went to school with Andrew. <laughs> they went to Green Mountain College together. And we walked in with the wrong door because I was kind of confused. And he, like, said hello and it was really funny. And I was like, Andrew's like, did you go to Green Mountain College? And he's like, yeah. And then they were like, wait, what's your name again? But anyway, it was really funny. Yeah. So, small world, small world. <laughs> so, anyway, we're just here for one night. I kind of wish we were here for a little longer. Yeah. It's really cute, really nice. Yeah. But we're here for the night, and tomorrow we're leaving. It's my 30th birthday, and the little adventures are pretty much done. But it's been so nice to just be away and <laughs> just have these experiences together, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's all I really wanted for my birthday. Not anything crazy or anything like that. Just to be with my honey. <laughs> so, anyway, that's the plan. And I will keep you posted. I'm gonna make it something tonight. I think I'm gonna bake the sweet potatoes again, like sweet potato fries, but I have some peppers that are growing bad, so I'm gonna cook them. And I probably won't eat all of them, but I'll cook them at least so that I can help. Um, but I'll do all the pieces of fun. Whoops. So hopefully you can hear me and we don't have to edit that out because when music is playing then we have to, you know, do you want to turn it off actually? Alright, so maybe I'll just say that again. So anyway, we're here in the place and the people who live upstairs who rent out the Airbnb actually Andrew went to college with the guy. Yeah. yeah. So it's really funny. They were both like, 
Wait, did you go to Rio to college? Did you go to Rio to college? So it's really funny and they could also be lesbians too. They could. I don't. I don't think that they are. Cause I remember seeing there was a couple when I was in the Airbnb. There's a couple who live upstairs. Yeah. I think they're the people who own the place. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But anyway, he lives upstairs. Cool. Yeah. So, and then. Yeah, so I give you a little tour, and then tonight I'm gonna have just a salad with some sauteed veggies and sauteed in water, not olive oil, just so you know. That's the plan. And yeah, because the peppers are going bad, they're like all wrinkly and they're gonna go bad. So I need to I need to cook them today. So that's the plan. And earlier I had that guacamole that I had made earlier, and all those sweet potatoes I had baked up. But I think I'm gonna bake the sweet potatoes again and not saute them because they'll just get really mushy. So I'd rather have them more. Yeah. So that's the plan, and I might do another workout, but I'm not sure. I'm feeling a little tired because I actually drove us here. I drove the three hours. Yeah, so, most have been driving the entire time except yeah. for when I moved the car at the gas station. No, and then one other time. There was one other time. It was coming home from Price Chopper. Oh, it's true. We, we came home from yeah, Pie Shopper and Andrew drove once. It was like yeah. literally five minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yeah. actually, no. From the it was from the the Asian market, so it was right. more like fifteen minutes of driving. Right, right, right. But other than that, myself. I've been doing most of the driving. Really doing a great job driving. So Even yeah, all that experience. Yeah. So we'll wake up tomorrow and we'll have to head out. Well, we get to head out and. We'll probably go to that vegan cafe that I've been wanting to go to, and then we'll head home. And I think we might go see a movie, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll have to see. But if we do, I think I want to see um, Black Panther. I think is that's the one I was yeah. saying, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I heard it's really good, but we'll see. Cause I don't even I don't even know what movies are out right now at all. Zero. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna. Get our supper started. Well, my supper started. And just gonna drink I'll his grape juice. I smell the supper. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, he'll drink his grape juice. He's on his third one today, <laughs> and he's feeling a lot better. At least he looks a lot better than earlier. His stomach yeah. was bothering him. Yeah. So. Yeah. This third grape juice will help give me a little more energy for the rest of the day. Yep. So it's good. So we'll keep you posted. But that's right. pretty much it. So we'll let you know. Oh, and I also had two coconuts early earlier. So I, the two coconuts. Those it was like three small, like smallish, medium sweet potatoes and a little bit of the guacamole. I still have some left, but I need to eat that today too because it's a little like travel sad. Yeah, that happens. So, so anyway, all right. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I'm having my last meal of the day. It's a little bit big. I probably won't finish all of it. It's a salad with some tomato, cilantro, and then I sauteed up some pepper and onion without any oil, without any salt, anything like that. And then I baked some sweet potatoes, and on top I have lime juice and apple cider vinegar. So this is what it came out to look like. And on there is red tomatoes and Kumada tomatoes. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this meal. I feel like I've kind of been munching all day, but I was kind of doing that because I was exhausted driving. So I just, um, for me, I'm not, it's not something I'm used to, and I drove three hours today, so I just kind of was like munching on things. Uh, so I'm hungry, but I'm not like ravished or anything like that. I did do Doc Gen Fit workout before I'm eating this. Not that that matters or anything, but it's something that I've been incorporating into my life. I just want to exercise more and be as fit as I can be, like with muscles and things like that. And I do appreciate the fasting and I'm gonna see how this feels. Like, I feel like I might be overdoing it with the food, but I'm just kind of like trying to combine a few things right now. Well, I'm working to combine a few things right now and it's, I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not, but I did have three bowel movements today. So I'm okay with that. That I'm, I know I'm eating quite a bit from what I was eating, but at least my bowels are still moving, which is a really good thing. If they weren't, I would be way more concerned and definitely not doing this. That said though, I am planning to do a Kalima board tonight just to make sure everything's kind of moving out. So that's the plan for me. After I eat, we're, Andrew and I are gonna go on an adventure to find 
some sort of like price chopper or something like that to get some distilled water because we don't have enough for Andrew to do a Kalima board tomorrow and for me to do one tonight. So anyway, just wanted to keep you posted. I am very much enjoying all these meals that I'm making and I will let you know the next time I eat something. So yeah, see you later.